Hello and welcome to Sport Tonight. I'm Cecilia Omogwe. In the next 10 minutes, we'll be talking about Nigeria Women's Professional Football League Premiership. Also, we'll touch down on the UEFA Champions League and the MPFL, uh, just the research game that was played earlier today. And also talk about updates coming from Super Falcons camp. Jennifer Echegene, really excited to have scored her debut goal for the Super Falcons of Nigeria. We'll start off with the Nigerian Women's Professional Football League Premiership's games that were decided today, March the 13th. And of course, it's just one slot left for the Super Six. So let's take a look at the results that were played uh, this evening across the centers from Lokoja to Abuja and of course to Benin City in Edo State. Now, Oshun Babes, they couldn't get a win. Baisa Queens beat them by a lone goal. And of course, it was all about Zainab Olokba. They scored the only goal just 13 minutes into the game. And Baisa Queens joined Delta Queens as the teams that have booked a slot for the Super Six. And the games between Nigeria Raptors and Delta Queens ended goalless. So Nigeria Raptors' hopes of getting a slot super six literally gone now. Because Rivers United, Rivers Angels have qualified for the Super Six by virtue of uh, Okuchuku Chiamaka's 62nd minute goal. They beat Heartland uh, Queens by a lone goal. Let's flip over to Group B, what the result is looking like. Confluence Squeeze book is spot for the Super Six, despite the goalless game against Nassau Amazon. So Nassau Amazon also uh, may not just make it. Adamawa Queens and Abia Angels, that game ended in favor of Adamawa Queens. Anani uh, Oluwashiun's 75th minute goal was enough for Adamawa Queens to get all three points against Abia Angels. Of course, the game between Edo Queens and Ibom Angels ended four goals to nothing. When Ibom Angels came to Lagos, they collected as many, how many goals? Seven. And now they went to Edo, collected another four. Although they already relegated, Edo Queens needed this win to book a slot for the Super Six. So they've qualified for the Super Six. So all the goals that were scored in this particular game, they were all scored in the first half of the game. So they had to hold on to be able to uh, hold on in the second half. That's why they couldn't concede any other goals again. But that first half, it was a four goals to nothing. So we have the teams that qualified for the Super Six. Yeah, Bayeso Queens, Delta Queens were the first to book a slot. Rivers Angels finally made it. Edo Queens also have made it. Confluence Queens also joining the teams that have qualified for the Super Six. Just have one slot left. So by tomorrow, we're going to get confirmation of all the teams that have qualified for the Super Six. And of course, we'll get to know when it's going to be taking place and which state will be hosting the one for this season. All right, let's talk about the rescheduled game of the Nigeria Professional Football League, Rivers United and Lobby Stars. That game ended in favor of Lobby Stars. Now, it was a roller coaster ride because first half, it was goalless. You expect it wasn't going to produce anything. But second half, all the five goals scored were all scored in the second half of the game. And of course, it was Ajani that actually gave them any. Annie Elijah scored a 96th minute goal that gave Lobby Stars that victory. Rivers United still remains second in that group. And of course, while Lobby Stars maintain their top spot, Victor Suchima was recorded in the 26th minute in this game. And maybe because of that, Rivers United couldn't get all the goals. But five goals, so it was a thriller right there in McCordy. Lobby Stars getting away with all three point ninety six minutes goal. That was what gave them that victory. Because at that 90th minute, it was a two on before Annie Elijah popped up and scored that 96 minute goal. And Rivers uh, United, well, they go back home empty-handed. So it was a recharge game for them. They still have one more game in hand, which is against a Sunshine Stars. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk about this one. Uh, for Super Falcons of Nigeria, they've won three games in a row. Yes, three in a row now. And of course, they've scored six and conceded just one. And one of the goal scorers for the game against New Zealand, Jennifer Echejene, she's really excited to be able to score her debut goal for the Super Falcons of Nigeria. And the way the goal was actually scored is what excites her more than even being on the score sheet. Let's take a listen to her. Uh, I felt surreal, honestly, just to be a part of this team. I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity. Really happy to be a part of this team. And the team, the goal itself, I scored it, yeah, but it was a great team goal and the build up towards the goal was just amazing. I'm just really proud of all the girls. We, we really fought today and it showed that a result, it showed, it, showed our fight, it showed the true spirit. Just truly grateful. I think we played really well today. Obviously, there's, there's always more. There's always more we can build on. I think we did the simple things right today. 
the score sheet is good. You know, we kept the kept the clean sheet. But in terms of the World Cup, uh, there still needs to be a lot more work to be done. I think this is a good uh, baseline from to move forward with. Yeah, we got some time, and we're going to keep working hard and coming together and doing the things right and to be the even better team. I think our the sky's truly our limit, and you now we just have to show. Obviously, the sky will be your limit when you keep winning. And for the Super Four Cons of Nigeria, remember the group they're in. They are playing against a co-host Australia, Canada, Olympic champions, and of course, Republic of Ireland. These are the teams that are in that particular group. And for the coaches, mentioned that it will bring all the players to come next month for the first phase of preparations. The World Cup will start July 20th and August 20th. We'll see if the Super Falcons will be the, one of the teams that will be playing on August 20th. Yes, it's our dream, but then anything is possible. Let's talk about Europa League. And Marcus Rashford is what Manchester United are actually sweating on. When you have a player who has scored 28 goals for you this season, of course, when he's injured, you'll be afraid. Now, United will be facing Sevilla tomorrow in the Europa League Thursday night football. But then Marcus Rashford will not be a part of that and he'll be out for a few weeks. That's according to what the coach is saying. But then he believes that someone like um, Martial, who hasn't really been a fantastic form this season, seven goals in 17 appearances. And the last three games he has come on as a sub, he has scored just one and it was against Everton. So he's hoping he can actually step up for them. And for... The goalkeeper, David De Gea, is excited that the kind of football they are playing, they're having a good performance and hopefully they will have to win another silver way because the FA Cup is still there. They're in the semi-final against Brighton. And of course, you know, Europa League, that's where they are. And in the, for the league, fourth place, well, you'll say they are out of the title race already. But let's take a listen to both of them. It's a setback and he's disappointed about, but he's not... Um, uh, it's not totally broke because he know he will be, he will return quickly and so he's optimistic and he's uh, started straight on his recovery and his rehab and so and that helps and to get back soon it's a few games <laughs> so so that's a statement so uh, so I can't give more details of it because we don't know we have to see how it develops uh, the injury I think he is he's ready yeah, to to start game. But as I said, uh, the front line against uh, the Brentford did really well. And then we decide had to continue that against Everton. And they did again very well. The advantage was also yeah, that we can bring Anthony Marshall um, yeah, slow back. But uh, in the team, give him minutes, uh, get him used to, to came, uh, to came at the highest level, uh, to high intensity. Uh, but I think already against uh, Everton, he was ready to start again. When he is in the team, I refer to games as against Man City, against Liverpool. When he is in the team, we play our best football and we have the best results as a team. For sure, we are playing really good football, winning big games, already won the won one cup. I know it's not enough, but we are in the in the really good way. And uh, yeah, I think we are all enjoying the dressing room is really close together. The, the players are doing everything and are giving his 100% in training and in, in the games. And I think everyone is in, enjoying to playing for this club. And and yeah, we're still in, in three competitions this season. We're still a lot to play, but I think, uh, yeah, like I, I said again, we are in the, in the right way. Right way, good performance so far this season where you're chasing trophies in all fronts. You can be excited about that. Before we leave the show, we'll quickly talk about what happens between Manchester City and Bayern. And for Pep Guardiola, he's not convinced that it's a done deal for them. That's why that three name spanking of Bayern Munich right there at Etihad. And of course, for Thomas Tuchel, he feels the way the team perform is a reflection of what happened. But football is football. Anything can happen in second leg. Let's take a listen to them both. Well, the most important thing the players who was on the pitch and I think off the pitch in the bench and see the performance of Bayern Munich is not necessary to tell them all the warnings because I know it's going to happen. Of course, it's a good result. Really, really good. The, the group stage and the all games he played Bayern Munich so far have been outstanding. But you have 95 minutes. I've been there many, many times. Three years there and I know in Europe this team is special. And you have to be 
a good performance to, 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 to knock out these type of teams you have to make two good games not just one this does not feel like a 3-0 but it is a 3-0 and of course the, it's a huge huge task now to turn this around but yeah we will not give up we are realistic but we will not give up and football is football and home match in Germany is a home match in Germany and like they say we will it will be it will uh, it will not be over until we're in the shower Alianza Arena, right? That's the second leg. Football is football. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Have a good night, rest.